I have been living in Alaska for 26 years. I wasn't born in Alaska. I was born in New England. And um, how I got into art, I was just born painting. I popped out of the womb with a paintbrush in my hand and said, this is what I'm going to do. So I did it. <laughs> When I first moved to Alaska, I lived in a homestead, an old homestead in the middle of the middle of the state in a wilderness area that doesn't have a name, and a log, the mythological prototypical log cabin in the woods yeah, without um, running water, without electricity. And why? The reason is why. Um, I moved to Alaska for number one, I was following my artistic and spiritual vision, which has a lot to do with the beauty of the far north, the Arctic. So it was just a natural and normal trajectory that I would end up living in Alaska. The creative impulse is the fundamental energetic of all of existence. And anyone who is pursuing art is in touch with the fundamental energy of all that is. Um, and so that's, that's the why of art. That's why people continue to do it. It's a pulse in the heart of the universe, in the heart of existence, and in the heart of ourselves. And why I do it, it's my spiritual pathway. It's also my joy. While I'm here at the Tin Shop, I'm working on my second book. My first book was published by the National Museum of Women, and it was specifically about Alaska and the far north. It's a book of poetry and painting. And the second book is going to be a book about not only imagery from the far north and poetry from the far north, but iconography and iconology from classical times, specifically the Italian wavelength. And so I'm going to go back and forth between images in the far north and classical imagery and also a lot of contemporary Italian imagery. And the poetry, I also write and publish my own poetry. The poetry is going to be both in English and Italian. And the book's going to be called Vicino a me, which means close by me. <laughs>